Okay, this is going to be a video for my design and technology students. It might be useful to other people as well. It's going to be about how you can draw something like this. It's just a section of pipe and it's quite a large section. It's probably something like about 200 millimeters in diameter, the external, and it's got nice smooth sides. And if you start drawing in SketchUp and you don't quite know what you're doing, you'll probably find uh, the sides aren't smooth. So carry on watching the video and I'll explain how we do that. So first of all, I'm going to create a new file. I'm not bothered about saving that, so I'll say no. And I like to use a keyboard shortcut, so I will press C, which has now chosen the um, circle tool. And you'll notice down here that the sides are def currently defaulted to 100. Now that's because I have previously used the, the circle tool and specified that the side should be 100 by default. But if I were to say type, and remember I haven't actually started using the circle tool as such yet, if I were to type 24, that would actually be the default. That's the default you're going to find. So let, let's um, try drawing a circle like that and then see what happens. So now I'm going to click on the origin and then just pull out. Now I'm no longer clicked, and maybe you can already see that the sides are, um, it's the side of the circle is made from um, lots of line segments, 24 of them actually, as you would get, probably guess. So if my pipe is 200 millimeters in diameter, then the radius would be 100. So I'm going to type 100, and I've already chosen the metric template. So if I type 100, it means actually 100 millimeters. And I'm then going to press enter. And obviously, that's uh, we're quite zoomed out there. So I'm going to press shift uh, Z, which will zoom to the extents. And you'll see now that, yeah, sure enough, those line segments really show up. So if you forgot to change the number of line segments, what you could do is uh, to choose the select tool. I personally just press the space bar, which um, selects that tool. And then I would click the outside the uh, circumference of the circle there and then you'll see that it says segments 24 so I could if I wanted if I'd previously forgotten to change it to a high number I could go 100 and then press enter like that so that's smooth. Now you, you will probably uh, want to do that um, initially so let's just let's select everything now and I'm just going to delete and uh, let's Let's have another go then this time around. So I'm going to press C for the circle tool and you'll see that it's gone for the default of 24 sides. So this time around I'm going to type 100 and that's now specifying that when I uh, draw any future circles in this particular session of uh, SketchUp, it's, they're going to have 100 sides. So I press enter, go from the origin, pull out and I type 100 that's 100 millimeters radius, and then press enter. I'll press shift Z to zoom to the extents. In fact, I'm going to use the wheel on the mouse to just zoom out a little bit. And so that's the outside diameter of my circle, the end of the pipe, say. And then I'll press, um, oh no, I was going to say press C for the circle tool, but it's already selected. So I can then just click there again, pull out, and then I don't know what the internal would be. Let's say it's going to be, say, 90, 90 millimeter radius, and then press enter. And then to make this a piece of a hollow pipe, I need to remove this middle area here. So I'll press the space bar and I'm going to click once. Now, notice that I've only um, selected the fill and not the circumference of the circle. If you were to double click, you're actually over selecting, so you only want to single click like that. Then I'll press delete, uh, the delete key on the keyboard, the one which is actually marked to delete, not the backspace key. Often people confuse them. So I'll press delete. And so now effectively I've got a ring which I can then make into a piece of tube. I'll press P for the push pull tool, it's that one up there. And then I'm going to hover over that and pull up. And you'll notice, hopefully, you'll notice down bottom right hand corner specifying the, the um, distance by which I'm pushing or pulling. And so say, I, for example, if it was 110 millimeters, so 110, press enter, and there we are, shift Z. That's now zoomed to the extents. So that looks good to me. 
So what I'm going to do now, uh, choose the selection tool, triple click, so click, 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 right click, and I'm going to now make that into either a group or a component. I think I might do a component this time. Call it uh, my pipe. Obviously, you might choose a better name and click create. And now that can be one of the parts of my project. So as I said at the start of the video, or at least I think I did, uh, lots of my students have um, decided to make projects this, this year from some recycled pipe. It's actually co-extruded gas pipe. Uh, we had loads of it knocking around. It's been really, really good stuff to make enclosures for electronic projects. And so there's quite a few of you are going to need to at least start when you start drawing draw the pipe. That would be my advice. Uh, you could also draw the end caps as well as separate components and then you can put those into position as well. You can have section drawings and everything as well. Draw some uh, switches, LEDs and things. Now I did last year post lots of videos about how to do those things so you might want to check those out. I will post perhaps a few more videos this year. Um, I'm actually myself quite rusty with SketchUp. I haven't really used it in anger for about a year now but um, yeah, it's not too difficult to uh, get to grips with it when at least you get over the first few hurdles of understanding, for example, about having the measurements down there. Okay, hope that's useful.